that's what kind of saved my life was the ball. So I wound up playing in this tournament with um, Jay-Z's partner, OG Juan. OG Juan, yep. Yeah, so nice. I started playing in that tournament 136, and then you could start seeing it. You could start seeing my development, and then I got, then I, I played in the 55th tournament in uh, the Rock, Polo Grounds with Rock. the Rutgers when yeah. it was really Rutgers. I mean, I was much older, <laughs> but you saw it, and it was, it was crazy to me, because even to this day, when I sit down here, I, I can't believe it as I'm as I'm speaking to as you. As you re rethinking yeah. all of that. And when I'm thinking about it. And so then um I um I didn't tell you this. I um so I left Brandeis for I left I went to Brandeis for a year and then at the time I'm staying in this group home because I'm I'm out of my house mm -hmm. and then things kinda went into shambles, so I went into the system for a minute. Wow. And so within that, I still Kept playing ball, but I didn't, nobody really knew. You know, nobody knew what was going on. You know, you gotta you gotta do what you gotta right, do. Right. You know what I mean? So it wasn't like you was promoting. Yo, I'm nah, I'm, nah, I'm nah. And I think, and I think that was the reason why all oh, it clicked the way it did. So at the group home, I one Mr. Myers, he he ran the group home, and then the ladies, Mrs. Mrs. She, it was Mrs. Mrs. What was her name? Jones. Oh, the ladies there were like mothers to me. And so they knew I played ball, and so... At, I get, the, at the group home. At the group home. Wow. So what happened was, first, I went to Baychester, and I was like, nah, I can't live in, in the Bronx? Room. Yeah, in Baychester. Yeah. It's yeah. a group home called yeah. Baychester. Okay. okay. So I went there. They That's where they kind of dropped me off. And I was like, yo, I can't really stay up in this group home. I'm not really liking the vibe. Mm -hmm. It felt like, like like I was like in a mini prison. Like, yeah. And I was like, nah, nah. So... <laughs> When I went, when I when they changed me from Baychester to Marola, that was by Spellman. Okay. Yeah. So it was like a house. Eden Wall Project. Yeah, right around there. there. Right, yeah. exactly. So it was beautiful because it was like this house. So I had my own room, my my roommate. And so it was that it was in the summertime, the director of the program, he had his own his little basketball team in Long Island. Okay. So he was like, Oh Jaime, we want you to come down and play with us. And so we was on, we was in Hempstead, and he took me, man, and we did them boys dirty. dirty. <laughs> and so they chased me all the way to the train station. Oh, they were that tight. Yeah, they were so tight. So Yo, but what did you do, bro? Yo, we went, I went to work. And so I started seeing, I started seeing, like, this could be something. So I get back, and so the head guy of the group home, which is Paul Jensen, God bless his soul, he's still alive, <clears throat> but... um. It was cause kind of him. He made things pop off for me. He uh, there was this school, this alternative school called Glen Mills in in um, Pennsylvania. Okay. So they were trying to get some kids out of the group, out of the out of the group homes. Kids that they knew had some hope. So they had some hope. So he called me down to his office and he fell in love with me. Mm -hmm. So he was like, "We, I think we have something with this kid." So. They came in and, and they interviewed me and a couple of other kids, and um, I saw the video. It looked like a real, like, nice prep school, whatever. But yeah. it wasn't that. So whatever, I said, I'm all for it. I'm like, I'm getting mad at you. Yeah, you know, the scenery. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? So I said, I have an opportunity to do something with myself. I think if I stay here in the city, it's just not going to go too well. Whatever the case may be, but I'm, I'm, I jumped on it.